Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you what I typically eat in a day. Everything's gluten-free. I'm striving for mostly plant-based today as I wanna do a little bit more detoxing. I've been eating out a lot the past few days just for so many occasions. It was my birthday on May 12th and Mother's Day, so we went out a lot for that, um, which has been nice, but I'm trying to get back on track in terms of eating alkaline and anti-inflammatory. We are having breakfast and then we are going to the US, so I will do my best to eat plant-based there, but we are going to uh, shop, shopping in Wegmans and I'm gonna try to eat from the buffet, but if not, then I'm just gonna have to buy some snacks from there and eat that for my lunch. So that meal might not be too plant-based, but overall, I will try my best to eat as plant-based as I can and share it with you guys. All right, so my first meal of the day is always a smoothie. Um, at the bottom, I just have some organic spinach, some organic frozen raspberries, one medjool date, and a little bit of water, and a tablespoon of ground flax. And then I'm going to be using this protein powder. So this is from New Zest. I have used New Zest so many times for the longest time, and they are the perfect vegan powder because look at the ingredient list. It's extremely minimal, whereas other vegan protein powders usually like have over 50 different ingredients, which can be hard to digest. So I actually have not used any of these flavors. Nuza sent them all over to me to try. So I tried them for the first time yesterday. I love them all, but I will be adding the vanilla matcha, which is so yum. So there's the ingredients again, and it actually complements the raspberry really, really well. Whoops, just getting it to focus. So um, these one, this is the their coffee coconut MCTs that they sent over, all vegan, and this is the chai, turmeric, and maca, which tastes amazing as well. But I will be just using this matcha one, which um, has pea protein in it, and I believe the protein, yeah, there's 19 grams. So this will hold me over until lunch. So I like my smoothies more runny sometimes when I'm in a rush because then I can just drink it really quick. This is what a typical smoothie is like for me. Um, the new zest is naturally sweet, so that's why there's no banana in my smoothie. I did add a date, but when I was on the Candida cleanse, I made exactly this smoothie using the new zest original, and I just omitted the date. Um, and it was still sweet enough, but now that I am not on a Candida cleanse or anything, I totally you know, have my, my dried fruit and that kind of stuff. Um, I was out of bananas, just have avocado left, so I decided to use a date instead but this is naturally sweet so you can just do this and some berries and spinach all right so we had breakfast this morning um i had some liquid chlorophyll which i forgot to share but we are actually in the u.s right now uh, just picking up a few packages from um, the address here i got an ancient nutrition package so i'll show you guys what i got there um but we are going to go to wegmans and get some groceries and probably eat something from there so if we eat lunch there i will show you guys what i'm eating but I'm trying to keep today more plant-based and very alkaline just to kind of uh, you know, speed up detoxification. So we just got out of Wegmans and we didn't end up eating in there. We bought stuff to make in the car. So I'm like literally sitting in the car trying to make them food, but I got this bread. It's a gluten-free bread, oatmeal bread that they make there. And the ingredient list is extremely simple. It's just all pretty much sprouted um, grains and some flaxseed. So I'm gonna cut that up. And I got some organic chicken breast, um, that's like pre-cooked, so organic chicken breast cold cuts, some organic uh, prov provolone and Havarti cheese, and then some um, grass-fed um, beef and pork type of salami for my husband. This is not obviously plant-based. We were hoping to do um, you know, some more veggies and salads, but we're just working with what we have. Um, as we're in a different country and my kids are starving. I did get a perfect bar for myself to snack on. And we also got a kombucha. Can I see it for a sec? Um, so this is the cranberry peach kombucha from Wegman. So we'll be drinking that as well. So this is what we're eating. I will show you everything else we bought if I can when we get home. All right, so this is what I'm eating. Super chill in the car. So it's the organic oat sprouted bread and then organic um, roasted chicken breast with just water and salt so there's no additives or anything and some organic um, provolone cheese. So I also put a thin layer, which you can't see, but there's a, th a little bit of the organic hummus that I bought. So there's the, the hummus from Wegmans under the kombucha. I only have one hand. Um, I would have loved to add lettuce and other like cucumber and stuff for some greens, but we're in the car, so this is what we're having. So this is the hummus I was talking about. I just wanted to show you the ingredients. So it's organic uh, chickpeas, some tahini, and water, lemon, just like super simple ingredients. So this is what we're eating. We're gonna take all of this home and unpack it at home once we are in Canada and show you what we got. All right guys, we are home. Sorry, hair's crazy. Um, I wanna show you a couple of the things I got from Wegmans. All the things that I got from there we cannot get in Canada, so we took advantage. Um, everything is just so clean and even though 
uh, their conversion rate is quite high from US to Canadian dollars, it still was cheaper to buy these. So I find produce to be extremely expensive in the US, especially organic compared to Canada, but meats and dairies and snacks seem to be a lot cheaper. So we like to try to go to the US as much as we can and buy that kind of stuff from there. So I'm going to show you what I got. So starting with these, which I was super excited about, they are against the grain gourmet cinnamon raisin bagels. Of course, they're gluten free. And I just wanted to show you the ingredient list super quick as that's what caught my eye. So, so, so simple. Yes, there's canola oil, which we try to avoid, but once in a while when we want bagels, this is what we'll do. And it's non-GMO, so I'm happy about that. Otherwise, it's really clean. So these are the cleanest bagels I've ever found. I do try to make my own when possible, but sometimes it's just not possible. Um, these are what my kids will snack on. We don't do them for breakfast as they are not technically nutritious, but they are clean, gluten-free. My kids like to have a few as a little snack. Um, these are the organic sea salt and lime tortilla chips. So we have obviously these in Canada, but I haven't seen the lime ones that are organic, so I got it really excited. Got some of these organic chickpea puffs. Um, this one is the, which flavor was this? This is sriracha barbecue and vegan white cheddar. So again, the ingredients are pretty decent on these. Got some cauliflower and cassava pretzels, which are gluten-free. What I was really excited about was all the protein. So we have cold cuts, of course, in Canada, and they are, are organic, but they usually have nitrates or byproducts or something we're not a fan of. So this is the organic chicken breast, which is super clean ingredients. I also got some organic uh, provolone cheese. So we did sandwiches out of this, which I showed you guys. Got two containers of this organic hummus, which is also quite clean. So showed you that as well. We kind of spread it on the bread. This is the bread we used. It was baked at Wegman, so super fresh. And the ingredients are all sprout, different sprouted flours, which you can see here, some spreaded sorghum and that kind of stuff. My husband likes to eat, um, he'll eat some pork sometimes, but the only thing is we always do make sure it's grass-fed, pasture-raised, no antibiotics. The ingredients on here is really clean. There's no nitrates or anything like that. So he got some of this but just to make his sandwich out of. I got two tubs of the Nancy's yogurt. These are amazing. So 41 billion probiotics in this organic yogurt. So it's the highest probiotic content I've ever seen. So I got two tubs of that. Um, some more of the gluten-free cauliflower cassava pretzels. And then I've got some of the grass-fed um, organic beef that we can use um, in stir fries and stuff. And then two of these cereals. So these are ancient grains, both gluten-free. Yes, they contain sugar. No, the ingredients are not perfect. But what I do like is that they are as clean as you can get. My kids like to have little snacks sometimes, and I don't want to fully deprive them of everything. So this is what we do, and these are really clean. And then last but not least, some ancient nutrition goods. So I had these shipped to the US, which is why we went there. We went to pick up my package from Ancient Nutrition. So um, I got the Keto Feast Vanilla, which is the ingredients are just amazing. So you can see there's bone broths. There's also like ashwagandha and all sorts of nutritious things. So this is supposed to be a meal replacement type of thing, but we just use it in smoothies and it's really good. Of course, I got some more Keto Matcha. This is the greatest matcha on earth. So it's the only one I like to use if possible. And they have a new line out of supplements. So they're called Ancient Nutrients, and I'd want to try the iron as I am still a little bit uh, anemic after having so many kids um, and used to have very heavy periods. So this is the one I got. Again, the ingredient list is just absolutely amazing. So I want you guys to go check them out online. I will leave links in the description. They are fantastic. So this is everything that we got. So that is everything that we got. Um, and I just want to put a little disclaimer out there, even though I know I don't have to, um, but I know a lot of you guys are going to comment on some of the ingredients in these products, like the canola oil. Um, the whole point of being healthy and trying to reestablish homeostasis in your body is that you can do that so you can live a balanced life and not have to be extremely strict with ingredients. So now that psoriasis is gone and everything is doing you know, really well in terms of my health, I will eat some things with a little bit of additives or preservatives here and there. I try not to, and usually I, I always reread the ingredient list. Some ingredients I refuse to consume, like maltodextrin and stuff, but overall, I will do. I will consume some canola here and there. Hopefully it's organic if possible. Um, and that's the whole point, is just you be really, really, really strict so you can get back your health back, but then once you do, you can start to let go on certain things. We are always gluten-free. I try to avoid cane sugar as much as possible, and we avoid some you know big inflammatory ingredients, but overall, this is how we eat now, just as clean as we can, organic when possible, and uh, we love it. All right, so I'm a little bit hungry and thirsty after the uh, sandwich from the car, so I am having a turmeric latte. I am using this one here from the uh, from Nuzas. So this is their chai, turmeric, and maca, which I love. So there's the ingredients. 
just some pea protein and there's some chai, turmeric, um, maca powder, cinnamon, black pepper. So I just added some coconut milk to the blender, some ice and a big heaping scoop of this. I'm gonna blend it up and drink it. So there you have it. You can see how frothy that is. I just you know, blended this, some coconut milk and ice. It looks delicious, tastes delicious. This stuff is amazing. So I really recommend this flavor if you're vegan looking for a all-in-one turmeric latte type of mix. You could definitely go hot, but I was just feeling cold today. So with the turmeric latte, I'm also doing a salad. So this is just some organic spring mix from Costco. Drizzled it with some homemade um, Italian dressing. And I also drizzled it with this hemp oil. So this is from Manitoba Harvest. This is a good anti-inflammatory. Um, really, really nourishing for the skin. So I always I drizzled some on top, as you can see right there, all the way around. So when you mix it all together, it tastes really, really good. So this is my little snack that will hold me until dinner. So I am doing a giveaway with New Zest, and they will be giving away a tub of their protein flavor, your flavor of choice, and their shaker bottle, which I have right here. All right, this one here. They'll be giving one of these away with the protein to one of you lucky winners. So the bottom comes off, protein powder goes in here, and then you can just dump it into this when you're ready. Shake it up. Um, so all you guys have to do is comment down below um, and share with me why you want to try New Zest or um, what flavor you'd like to try. And uh, I'll be choosing a winner in two weeks time. If you want a bonus entry, follow me on Instagram and comment on my latest post telling me that you're entering the giveaway so I know. Um, and that will give you two entries. Um, so two weeks time, I'll be choosing a winner to um, have a flavor. So stay on the lookout, especially if you're not following me on Instagram. The only way I can contact you is by commenting uh, replying to your comment on this YouTube video. So keep your notifications on so you do uh, get notified if I comment back and tell you that you've won. Um, and then you, I will co connect you with uh, New Zest. You can choose your flavor, get your address and all that, and you get to try it out. So a huge thank you to New Zest for sponsoring the giveaway. Um, I really encourage you guys to try these out, especially if you're plant-based because they are so clean and um, hence the clean lean and their flavors are really, really good. So this is my dinner for today. This is a completely plant-based, aside from shrimp, so that can be left out, but um, completely plant-based dinner. Um, this is a very alkaline meal and is something that I ate through all phases of having psoriasis, even the candida diet, except when I was doing the candida cleanse, I omitted the rice and did a lot more of the lettuce, the um, a little bit of the mushroom, and I did a lot more shrimp for protein just to balance it out. But what it is, is it's just some organic basmati rice that I soaked overnight, topped it with organic romaine lettuce, organic cucumber, organic avocado, some mango, a little bit of shrimp, and a side of enoki mushroom. And on top, I drizzled it with some coconut aminos and a teeny bit of miso paste that I mixed in with it, and some salt. And that's it. So super simple, super alkaline, anti-inflammatory. Um, and you can definitely leave out the shrimp if you want it fully vegan or add more and omit some of the rice to make it lower carb. All right, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be doing some herbal teas tonight. Like always, sometimes at night I do some blueberries or something else, so I might do that. But that's all I'm having for this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day. I love you all, and we'll chat soon. Bye.